If you miss the early morning praise, you missing the best part of the service because you get a chance to dance and give God praise and just shout all over this place. You know, some people feel that when they uh, come out the club, they losing some. But oh, they're so wrong. When you come into God's house, you're gaining something because you can shout in the spirit, hallelujah. And when you come down for shouting, you don't have to hang your head down. Hallelujah. Whatever the spirit leads you to do, when you do it, you can still walk around your head huh, lifted up. Hallelujah. Your heart is blessed. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, God is so good. Do you see how God has spared our life? Look what happened in Rolling Fork and that area up there. Those people, there was, was a huge storm came through. But God spared us. Hallelujah. Want to look at it? Want to see a blessing? Look at me. God is good. I'm here to let you know God is blessing every single day. Hallelujah. And when I wake up, the first thing I do in the morning says, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. He woke me up once again. He allowed me not only to wake up, but to get up. There are some people can't even get out of bed. But holy go. Praise be to God. I can not only get out of bed, I can dance around my house. I don't have to wait to get to church to dance. See, when you know you're doing true praise, you can praise God all by yourself. You can praise God when you're going through. You can praise God when they're lying on you. You can praise God when they don't understand and stand all types of things about you. But when you know God, when you got a relationship with God, hallelujah, you can give God praise. And I just thank the Lord. All month, the nation been focused on Women's History Month. And last week, we made a special service just for that. But I praise God for being a woman of God. Oh, people don't always understand. And, and that does not mean you get the best things of life. But you know what it means? We have the best of all because we got Jesus. And when you have Jesus, hallelujah, you have assurance of eternal life. And I give praise to God. I bless this name. Did you come to, to God's house to worship him today in spirit and in truth? If that's your reason for being, let's give God some praise right now. Hallelujah. Praise him for sparing our lives. Praise him for saving our soul. Praise him for being God. Praise him for protecting our children. Praise him for his saving power. Hallelujah. We have not always been saved. We have not always done right. But even in the midst of our ignorant wrongdoing, God is still merciful. He's still good. And I give him praise. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, you're welcome in this place today. Lord, I give you praise. Have your way today, Lord. Be glorified. Lord, let your Holy Ghost power just saturate this place. Lord, use us today. Oh, God, we thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord God, for traveling grace and mercy. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to share a story with you. I'm not going to read it. I'm just going to summarize it. It's in the book of Luke, chapter 7. And there was a feast at Simon's house. And, and, and in the midst of this feast, this woman came in. And she uh, began to, she knelt down and she washed Jesus' feet with her tears. And she washed it with her hair. And Simon and some of the other people in the house began to look down on this woman. But Jesus had to set the, set the record straight. He told Simon, I came here. You didn't give me any water to wash my feet. See, that was the custom in that day and time. And I praise God that this woman was, didn't have a name. And I believe God did that so that woman could be either one of us. You know, we've all done something. We had to fall down on our face down to, on, at the feet of, Christ, at the feet of Jesus. And we fall down and we begin to cry out to Jesus. Our tears may be flowing. Hallelujah. And through the tears may come pain and heartache and whatever agony we are going through. But as we give God praise, as we call on his holy name, hallelujah, God began to receive our prayers and our tears. And he rewards us by open doors, by blessing us. Hallelujah. So this woman, and we're talking about women, History Month. Women has always played a role in God's work. 
Women's always played a role in these United States of America, in family in general. You got some women that are strong and they are out front, but you got so many women that are quiet, meek, and humble, but they have power because when they move, others move with them. When they speak, people listen. So we just want to bring your attention that it's nothing wrong with falling down on your face and crying out. Let the tears flow. The tears may be promoted by joy or they may be being promoted by the agony and the pain you're going through. But give God praise. Hallelujah. No one knows and you like the Lord. No one understand your plight like Jesus. But open your heart up and cry out to him. When you cry out to the Lord, I'm here to let you know that God will hear your cry and it will make you feel better. You will leave encouraged. You will leave with assurance that all is well. It may not happen right then and there, but if you cry out to God with a humble, sincere spirit, contrite heart, God will hear your cry. And now you hear your cry, God will move. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to welcome you to turn your point missions in a church, a church where God's love abide. I'm Pastor Arnett Owen, and we are so thankful that you have pressed your way to be here today. We are so grateful for the presence of God. He is here. We had a hallelujah, good time praising God. And I just want to thank God for his presence. I want to thank God for the music that, that kind of urged us into that praise. And this last song that we were able to enjoy was talking about you want to see a blessing, look at me. Hallelujah. If you see yourself as a blessing from God, no matter how others see you, you got to yet praise in your spirit. You got to yet dance in your feet. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. God is good. And we just want to welcome you to turn your permissions in a church. Want to welcome you to open your heart up and let the Holy Ghost have his way. Want to welcome you to dance. Praise God. Have a way the Holy Spirit leads you to do so. And praise God also in your faithfulness. So we have to be faithful to God and not look at what the other person does. God is God every day. But when you say you are married to him, that means you have a responsibility to put him first. I heard a song said, you don't know what I want to love. And I said, that may sound good, but that's not true. Because God wants us to love everyone. He wants to love him first and supreme and foremost. He wants to love him with our whole heart, mind, and soul. But we are to love everyone. We are not to let our love be all centered upon Jesus. He has to be the center of our life. But through our love with Jesus, he will move us to, help, to love others. He will move upon us to help others. He will move upon us to reach out to others. So we just thank God for his love. Thank God for each of you that are here. And I thank the Holy Spirit for already killing the fire. The fire is already started. And don't let your fire go out. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. We just thank God for all those who will be joining us. We have a recast that will air on tomorrow. Our recast has been changed from Saturdays to Sundays, every Sunday evening at 4 o'clock. And we thank those who are faithful that still have switched over. We got some that have switched over. And we thank God for that. And some will get the message sooner or later. But we praise God for this opportunity to be here today. And so I just welcome you to let go, let God have his way. We want to now prepare our heart as we go to the throne of grace. Our intercessor will be Dignus uh, Smith. And, and, and the word of God tells us in Psalm 51, it created him in a clean heart. So we have to have a clean heart to be able to really enter into God's presence. And we have to say, Lord, renew your right spirit within me. And we have to humble ourselves before the Lord. And ask the Lord to restore unto me your joy. So if the world is taking your joy away, it's time now to say, Lord, restore your joy into me. Lord, have your way. Lord, chisel me. Lord, purge whatever I did not clean out of you. And we ask God to purge us and clean us up. God will do it. And we'll be able to go to the Lord in prayer. And he will hear and answer our prayers. So let us now prepare our hearts for prayer. Praise be to God. Father God, in the name of Jesus lift up this service before you, Lord God. God, we ask you to touch each and every individual that is here, Father God. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we lift up this nation. 
Lord, we lift up this world to you, Father God. Lord, we lift up Roland Fork in a very special way and truly in all the areas that were touched by that large storm or tornado. Father God, but we thank you, Jackson, Father God, you have protected us once again. Oh, Father God, in the name of Jesus, it should be a shout and a praise and thanking you, Father God. God, we lift up the state of California. Oh, God, we lift up our homes, Lord God. Oh, Father God, we lift up our families. We lift up the sick that shut in, Lord God. We lift up the bereaved families, Father God, in the name of Jesus. God, you're mighty God. You are true God. You are merciful God. You are holy God. Oh, Lord, we're lifting up the United States of America, Father God, right now. Syria is trying to attack America, but America, God, is fighting back, Lord God. We ask you in the name of Jesus, protect our military personnel, people, God. They need you right now. Protect our federal government people as well, God. God, we ask you in the name of Jesus, God, to protect our local law enforcement. God, protect our black men, Father God, and our black women in the name of Jesus. Protect our women and children, Father God. Oh, God, we need you, Father God, in the midst of the storms and the rain, God, but we still say thank you. God, you still let the sun shine, shine, shine upon us, Father God. Oh, God, when we're not even deserving, Father God, you still have mercy on us. Oh, Father God, we pray for the president, the governor, the mayor, God, our legislative body. God, we pray for the city council. Father God, we pray with the situation going on with the garbage, God. We need you in Jackson more than ever. Oh, God, we need you to walk through every neighborhood. God, we need you to walk through the housing authority. God, we need you to walk through the Social Security office. Father God, we just need you to walk through our community. We need you to walk in our hospitals and heal, Father God. Oh, Father God, provide the money and the needs of our teachers, our educational system, Father God. Oh, Father God, we need you, Father, more than ever. Father God, we say thank you. God, we say praise you, God. We pray for these services that's going on today, that you will get all the glory. Oh, Father God, to speak of the house of the day, Father God, speak through him or her like never seen before. In the name of Jesus, God, there's a healing in this service. It's a blessing in this service. Anytime that we come into the house of God, it's a blessing. Father God, you didn't let death take us. Father God, you didn't let no sickness overwhelm our body. Father God, we're just praising you and honor you on today. You are mighty God from the beginning and the end. You are Alpha and Omega. Oh, Father God, you are the righteous God. God, you are true, powerful God. Oh, God, we just praise you on today. The doors of the church has opened up in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, God, we should be dancing and shouting and praising and running. Because, God, you did the ultimate. You gave your ultimate price. You gave Jesus Christ your son, Father God, whom who died and rose while our sins. Oh God, he had not done anything for God, but he loved us. And Father God, we pray for every woman. God, this is the history month for women on this month. Father God, women are always in the back front. Sometimes they in the lower front, but God still they have to be the, the they have to be everything in their homes, Father God, on their jobs, wherever they may be. Father, we just ask you, even in the church, God, we ask you to be with them. Be with our black men. Be with them, Father God. Thank you for our elders. Oh, God, we thank you for our deaconess. Oh, Father God, we just thank you, God. We thank you, God. Just bless the grounds of this church. God, when you come in, when you get out your car, you feel the presence of God. Hallelujah. On the inside, it's even a more presence of God. Thank you, God. Thank you for our children, Father God. Thank you for all that you do. Oh, Father God, we want to say praise you. We want to say honor you. We want to say magnify you. We want to say glorify you. We want to say we love you. Oh, God, you're the greatest of you. I am that I am, Father God. Oh, God, thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your peace. Thank you for your joy. Thank you, Lord God. In Christ Jesus' name, have I prayed. Amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah, thank you Lord, there is power in prayer, hallelujah, we want to ask you to remain standing as Elder Monica uh, Sorrell come with our scripture reading for today, hallelujah, glory be to God, I want to thank Deacon Smith again for the powerful prayer, hallelujah, thank you Lord Jesus, thank you Lord, hallelujah, yes Lord, our morning scripture will be coming from Luke chapter 17 that's Luke chapter 17 and I will read it you're hearing verses 11 through 19 Luke chapter 17 and I will read it you're hearing verses 11 through 19 
And the word of God says, And it came to pass, as he went to Jerusalem, that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. And as he entered into a certain village, there met him ten men that were lepers, which stood afar off. And they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, mm -hmm. Master, have mercy on us. And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go, show yourself unto the priest. And it came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a loud voice glorified God and fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks, and he was a Samaritan. And Jesus answering said, Were there not ten cleansed? Mm. But where are the nine? There are not found that return to give glory to God, save this stranger. And he said unto him, Arise, go thy way, thy faith has made thee whole. Hallelujah. May the Lord a blessing to the readers, hearers, and Hear us and do up his holy word. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. You may be seated. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. Jesus, Master, have mercy upon us. See, we got to learn to call on God's name when things look bleak. But we also got to learn to call in his name when everything is looking good. When the sun is shining. We say, oh, it's a beautiful day. We got to say, Jesus, Master, have mercy. Because no matter what state we find ourselves in, there's still room for God to do work in us so he can do work through us. Praise the Lord. I want to thank Elder Monica for the reading of that word. Amen, amen, amen. You know, we're down to a part of our service. We can all give God praise. See, worship includes totality. Everything we do, it should be all centered in Christ. And we know the earth and the fullness belongs to the Lord. Everything we have is God. So we now invite you to uh, focus on our stewardship. And immediately after our stewardship, we will then prepare to worship the Lord in our giving. Amen. We have a stewardship spotlight that will be highlighted. So turn your eyes to the uh, monitors as we uh, prepare for our stewardship spotlight. And then afterward, we will ask our, I guess, Elder Monday to come up to receive our tithes and offering. So while the spotlight is going forward, if you have not already prepared your tithes envelope, do that now so we can wish the Lord in our giving. If you need a tithe envelope, uh, raise your hand, and we'll be happy to get one to you. God bless you. All eyes are now on the monitor. New Year. Again. Is there anything you wish to do differently over the next 12 months? A new diet? Learn a new instrument? Read more? Let me ask you something. How many times have you failed to accomplish these new things you planned on the first day of January? You don't have to answer. Just think about it. Well, knowing that the things you do are directly related to who you are, why keep trying new things when you can actually become a new you? You know what I mean? But if you're already thinking, this is not that simple, I'll remind you of a few words. If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. So let me propose something to you. As the year starts, be a new creation. Be in Christ as you open your eyes each morning. Be in Christ as you have breakfast, through family worship. Be in Christ during the week, at home, at school, at work. Be in Christ as you attend church on Sabbath and commune with your brothers and sisters. Be in Christ as you return your tithe, recognizing everything is His. Be in Christ as you give your promise. Be grateful to your only provider. Be in Christ. Connect with Him. Let your purposes be His. Your routine start with Him, and your life be transformed through Him. In this new year, 
Your plans can work and last. You just need to put God first. Amen, amen. Praise the Lord. Can the people that you are around know that you're in Christ? Do they know that you're a new creature in Christ? And honestly speaking, can do we can we honestly say we put God first? This gives us the opportunity now to worship the Lord and not give him. We ask uh, Elder Mon to come and you follow her lead. Thank you, Lord. The word says, bring all your tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meats in my house. And prove me now, herewith says the Lord of hosts, when I will open you the windows of heaven, pour out the blessings, that there shall not be room enough to receive it. And if I will rebuke the devourer for your sakes, and he shall not destroy the fruits of your ground, neither shall your vine cast her fruit before the time in the field, says the Lord of hosts. Father God, we are blessed. We are your people. And because we are your people, we are blessed. We are for the opportunity to come once again and to worship you through our giving. And we count it all joy. It's such a privilege, Lord. No matter how small or how big our donations are, if they come from the heart and we'll put you first, then you are going to receive it. And you will bless, like the words that you will open up the window of heaven and pour out a blessing that will not be room enough to receive it. And Lord, if we are faithful, you say you will devour the land. You will rebuke. You will send blessings when the enemy is trying to bring curses. You will send blessings, Lord. So we thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for opening windows of heaven and pouring out your blessings. And Lord, we ask you right now to just to anoint this offering. Lord, we ask you to anoint with your Holy Ghost power so that this work may go forward. And Lord God, we pray that if anyone was in the place, had a desire to give, had not anything to give, oh, Father God, church in the name of Jesus, so they too will be able to give. And Lord, for those who gave wholeheartedly, we know, we know, Lord, your word is true. You said, Lord God, that you will open up the windows of heaven, pour out a blessing, and not be room enough to receive it. And we thank you for that, Lord. And Lord, if anyone was hard-hearted, oh God, move them on the heart, soften the heart, so they too can enjoy the privilege of being in your will and being blessed because we love you. Lord, we thank you. Let your anointing flow in this place today. Bless the givers and bless the offering. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You may be seen in the presence of the Lord. We thank God for this opportunity. We now will have a music selection. And the next voice we hear from this desk within our own elder Jackie Sorrell. He will be bringing the word today. And we thank God for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We're in for a word, a word, a word. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Heavenly Father, breathe on us. In Jesus' name. Amen. Chuck, you can keep playing. You may be seated. I'm going to try to get through this. Because worthy is the land. We, we, We come into this season every year. Thank you, Lord. Reflecting on what Christ has done on our behalf. But a lot of times throughout the year, we forget 
how worthy is the Lamb that sacrificed for us to give us this opportunity. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Our scripture today came from Luke 17, 11 through 19. But I want to focus on one portion of that scripture. Verse 15, and it says, And one of them, when he had, he saw that he was healed, turned back. And with a loud voice, glorified God. For the sake of a title, are you the one? All right. <laughs> All right. Now, are you the one? It doesn't matter if you're new in the church or if you've been around for a while. You've probably heard something about the ten lepers. But just in case you didn't, you see, leprosy is a disease that was common in that time. It was a bacteria they found out later that affected the nerves in the body, killing them so that the persons couldn't feel the pain in the affected areas. It caused red sores on the skin. And when they filled with pus, and it drained, the odor made you not want to be around them. It was transmitted, they found out, through breathing in the bacteria from someone that sneezed or coughed. All right, all right. Sounds like COVID, doesn't it? Amen. Once you've been diagnosed mm -hmm. and you have leprosy, you weren't able to stay with your family commune with other people, do your normal day-to-day -day living for fear that you would infect them. But one thing that was brought out about leprosy is that being diagnosed with leprosy was supposed to be an outward sign of your relationship with God. If it happened, if you happen to get leprosy, the church, the church, said that you must have been sinning against God. And this was your punishment. Sounds like a Job thing there, doesn't it? You had to have sinned. You wouldn't have faced this kind of calamity. And in an effort to not spread the disease to others, you were cast out of the city. And if you ever came in the vicinity of other people, You had to cry out, unclean, unclean. Unclean. 
so they wouldn't get close enough uh -huh, uh -huh. to contract your disease. Now, did I miss something? Is something else going on here? Come on now, baby. Because, see, there seems to be a flaw Come on now. Yeah, in their reasoning. Come on now. Come on now. Because it was said that it, if you only, only persons <laughs> that could get leprosy <laughs> were people that sinned. sinned against God and if you haven't sinned why worry about leprosy hmm. but if they were correct in why a person got leprosy They aren't the only ones that need to holler out unclean. We need to holler out unclean. I lie, I'm a liar. Unclean. I'm unfaithful. Unclean. I didn't do what you asked me to do. Unclean. All right. Unclean. Oh, Jesus. Help us, Lord. Just because it doesn't show outside. Doesn't mean That's you're it. unclean. Don't take my word for it. Isaiah 64, 6 puts it like this. But we are all as an unclean thing in all our righteousness. Let me say that again. All our righteousnesses. Come on now. now they, they didn't say righteousness. They said righteousnesses are as filthy rags. Uh -huh. So whatever you think you've done, yes, yes. righteous. Mm. Mm. It's as filthy rags. Yes, yes, Lord. My God. Mm. Yes, yes. That's the word. That's the word. These ten lepers uh -huh. were joined together in a bond because they had a common disease. Uh -huh. yes, yes. You know, we tend to flock with people <laughs> like us. Amen. Amen. Say that now, Elder. That's right. Beware, Beware. Uh -huh. of who you flock together with. Speak, Holy Ghost. Yes, yes. All of them coming from different backgrounds. But now they have leprosy. It's funny how sickness and calamities oh, yes, yes, yes. can overshadow social itch issues, hatred, when we face those same issues together, even our enemies, just like those that are in the storm-torn areas of Mississippi today. There's some black and some white and some other nationalities in their community. But that's not going to be the issue today. Come on now. They're going to be on one accord trying to get yeah. themselves together. Yeah. During storms that devastate communities, uh -huh. wars that torment countries, uh -huh. 
now we can somehow find unity. But as soon as those situations pass or been resolved, we return to the evilness that we had before. But these two ten lepers yes, yes. put aside all those differences. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. mm -hmm. And they joined together. And they cried out, Jesus. Jesus. Now, oh, it's strange to me. I don't know if it came up to you when you read it. How did they know? that he was coming their way. The same as with blind Barnabas. They cried out, Jesus, have pity on me. They didn't have Twitter. They didn't have Facebook. They didn't have 24-hour news services. That's right, that's right. They knew it was coming. Ah, thank you, Lord. But somehow. Somehow, yes. And see, the other thing that, that caused me to think, uh -huh. they must have heard that he could heal. Someone must have told him, yes. told them, yes. even with your devastating issues, yes. Jesus. your pain that you're oh, going through. Oh, I'm talking Lord. to you all now. Oh, the pain that we face every day. Oh, he can Jesus. heal. Yes. Yes. So they cried out, yes, they did. Jesus. Jesus. Now, some of us, we're conservative. And, and we hold back and we... I got you. And see, I'm an introvert. True to heart. But see, when the, when the pain gets on, painful yeah. enough on, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. and the situation on, yeah. gets dire enough yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. and you know who to call on, that's it, that's it, that's it. nothing and no one that's can stop us from calling Jesus Jesus, yes. Jesus. Yes. Yes. Yes, Lord. and see these ten lepers uh -huh. they had no alternatives uh -huh. they had no choices in their life's projection they were going to die mm. but they heard about this Hallelujah. Jesus. Yeah, Lord. Yes, Lord. You've heard about him. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You've read about him. Yes, yes. Oh, I know. Woo, but you. see, the word said they were far off. Uh -huh. That's right. Now, I don't know what a far off is. <laughs> it could be, or it could be Way back there. Uh -huh. Way back there. My, my, my. Thank you, Lord. But the word says, Ooh, Lord. Yeah, say it now. He saw you. them. Yes. Thank you, mm. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. He saw them in their Thank sin. You, He saw them going through their torment. Yes, he did. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. That should give us encouragement yes, that Lord. 
He sees us if we call him. He'll see you. Y'all don't know, y'all. Chuck, I pray for you every day. Thank you, Lord. 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 I do. Diggingness, Purvis, I pray for you. My Lord Jesus. Every day. My Lord, yes. Michelle. Yes, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. LaPrenda. America. But see, when he hears our cries, I'm so glad he sees us and sees the situation that we're in. And then the word says, they said, have mercy. Ooh, <laughs> See, mercy is given when we don't deserve it. That's it. That's it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Some of us feel we're, we're deserving. Mm -mm, mm -mm. But see, As the scripture said, we've all sinned yes. Amen. Amen. and come short of his glory. Mercy. He promised new mercies every day. Not anything in the past, but enough to get us through this day. New mercies. That's enough to thank God for. Mercy. When you know that the trouble you're facing is of your own making. When there's more month to your money. God have mercy. When I turn left and I should have gone right. Have mercy. Can I get a witness that he's given you mercy? Verse 14 says he saw them. One writer says he lifted up his head and had compassion upon them. Aren't you glad that we have a God that has compassion on us? When we cry out lonely Depressed, feeling cast out, neglected, burdened, he sees us. Then the scripture says, he gave instruction. Go show yourselves to the priest. It's a simple instruction. Uh -huh. Come to church. <laughs> All right. All Come right. to church. Yes, yes. Thank Read you. your Bible. Thank you, Lord. Simple instruction. Now, there's something important about this request. Because anyone that had this type of infirmity would have to show themselves to the priest 
to declare them clean. That's right. Amen. Amen. But the priest couldn't save them. That's right. The priest couldn't cure them. That's right. oh, Lord. But he told them to go to the priest. Now, in, if I missed it, y'all tell me. He didn't say anything in the conversation. Be healed. Did y'all hear that anywhere? No. He said, go. No. Show yourselves mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to the priest. Mm -hmm. Now, today's people, it wouldn't have worked. He tells us, enroll in school. <laughs> and we said, well, you don't have no money. He says, apply for this job. We said, it says you have to have a degree. <laughs> he says, trust me. But I got bills to pay. Uh -huh. Trust. I can't give you 10%. My Lord, my Lord, my Jesus, 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 we can keep our money. It'll go through holes in your pocket. Now, we can not trust God to change the minds of those Come on now. That's it. That's it now. over the jobs. Yes. Now, yes. Yes. I have to stop here and give this. See, my wife had this situation. She had been working with this group a while, and you all know her testimony, but she had applied over and over again, even gone through interviews, and they chose someone else. Years had gone by, but we kept praying and all of a sudden the opportunity came up again. Same rules and regulations, but this time, when she applied, they said, well, you get a special exemption because you got diabetes. Now, now, Tell me what job going to give you exemption because you got diabetes. He said, go. There's so many other things that just oh, fell into place. Yes, Lord. But if she had never gone, she would have never seen the blessing that God had in store. We deprive ourselves of God's blessings because we doubt. His power. Well, he said, go. go. They went. Yes. And the word says, as they were going. Yes. Hallelujah. That's the word. 
I don't know how far they went, Come on now. but something started changing yes. in their body. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Jesus. And they realized, Glory. Woo, woo. I can feel now. Uh -huh. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm healing oh, now. Glory. But see, something happened to the one Thank you, Lord Jesus. that didn't happen to the rest of them. Come on now. Yes, yes, yes. He felt gratitude Thank you, Lord. Thank because he knew Thank the you, situation Lord. that he yes. had been in. Yes. The situation that he had been in was going to be to his demise. But now he has new hope. So he turns around He turns around. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes, yes, yes. And he praises God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. For the blessing that he received. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I bless your name. Will you be that one that turns around to give him glory? Yes! Yes! Hallelujah! Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Glory be to God. See, see. Lord, bless your name, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We have a lot of people they can cry out to God mm -hmm. yes. when their children Come on uh -huh. are causing problems, uh -huh. Uh -huh. when their marriages are failing, mm -hmm. when their bills are overdue, mm -hmm. when their health is at issue. And then he blesses them Come on now. Come on now. Yes. to get out of that situation. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Then they become used to be Christians. Oh my God. My God. I used to go to church. Uh, I used to pray. Uh, uh, uh. But I'm okay now. I, I don't need God anymore. Uh, uh, uh. I've got my blessing. Have mercy. Have mercy, Lord. But there was one yes. that didn't forget. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And he turned yes, he back did. To say thank you. Oh, thank you. You know, my wife gonna hate me for this, but when we first got together, we would do stuff and that word wasn't in her vocabulary. And I had to write it on a piece of paper <laughs> and give it to her. My Lord. Well, you mean that Thank you, Lord. And see, sometimes we have to be reminded Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you. that we need to Thank you, Lord. appreciate yes, yes, yes. him for our blessing. Yes. See, it's no guarantee that you're going to wake up every Amen. morning. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It's no guarantee no. you're going to be able to raise your hand. Thank you, Lord. Glory, glory, glory. See, a lot of times we think it has to be a big blessing to give him praise. But see, 
is plenty of people can't even see today. But I see you. You see me. That's a blessing. People that can't even digest food in their bodies, let alone eat. But it's a blessing. We need to remember Thank you, to be Lord. that one. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'm so. It's. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have so much to yes, be thankful for. Yes, 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 yes. Ooh, glory. My God. So much. To be thankful for. And as I mentioned before, this season, don't let it go, come and go without remembering to give thanks for the sacrifice. See, They depict all of these things in these films and movies and but it's only a snippet of what he went through. The agony that he faced in the garden. The struggle that he went through. And he finally succumbed and said, Not my will. But your will be done for me, for you. And then to be beat and scorned and hung on a cross for our sakes. We forget it. We, He's a merciful God. He's had mercy on us. Will you be the one? Will you be the one? Amen. Hallelujah. Are you the one? Are you the one that's willing to live a committed life? Not just in word, but you're willing to commit everything that you have to God. You're committed to start your day with God. You're committed to go throughout your day talking, trusting God. Are you committed to end your day with God? Are you committed? Are you the one that's willing to be faithful? If you can say or even desire, Lord, I want to be the one. Stand on your feet. We want to thank God for you, the Elder Sorrell, to make that word clear to us. Are you the one? Are you going to be like that one out of ten leper that opened his mouth with a loud voice and glorified God? Hallelujah. Are you willing to glorify God with your life? Are you willing to glorify God with your finances? See, a lot of us are willing to say God is good and testify, but we want to hold back on our finances. I want to hold back on our time. I want to hold back on our uh, faith and trust God. We got to be willing to trust God in everything. Are you the one? Perhaps you listen to this recast tonight and you heard the word go forth. Are you the one? 
Are you the one that's going to open your mouth and glorify God? Are you going to glorify God with your finances? Are you going to glorify God with your time? Are you going to glorify God with your love and affection? Are you going to be the one? Perhaps someone is listening and you're searching for a church home. We invite you to come up here, part of us here at Turning Point Mission Center Church. We're a little small church, but we are crazy enough to believe God's word. So if you're looking for a Bible-believing church, then this is the one. You call us at 1-866-395-6873. You can call us at 1-866-395-6873. And our prayer team will be happy to pray with you. And we also extend an invitation to become a part of God's family where you can work out your soul salvation here. Perhaps you have a church home, but you have not been as faithful. You need to be in this word today has convicted you that you have to be the one to be there when nobody else go. You have maybe been convicted that you are the one to stand on God's word and obey his command and do what he would say to do. You're standing today. And in your standing, you're saying to God, I want to be the one. So I want you to know that means that God is getting ready to maybe give you an assignment that will take you out of your comfort zone. And will you still be willing to say, I am the one? Lord, we've heard you speak to us today. We thank you for your servant, Elder Jack and Sorrell, for that mighty word that came forth today. Are you the one? You see your people standing. And Father, we just ask you right now to seal our decisions. Help us to make a conscious decision to be the one. The one that you are calling these last and evil days to stand for righteousness. The one that you are calling to hold fast to your truth. The one you're calling to love the unlovable. The one that you're calling to trust you when, no, when others are doubting you. Lord God, help us to be the one that will call in your name. Help us be the one that will stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Help us to be the one that will be faithful in good time and in not so good time and even in bad, terrible time. Help us, Lord. And Lord, we just want to thank you for being a faithful God. And we bless you right now. Lord, shower down your blessings on your people as we stand in obedience and submissive to your will. We want to be the one. In Jesus' name we pray and we thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Praise God. We want to thank God again for that word, Elder Sorrell. Thank you. Thank you.